Hey FlossTube, it's Holly Jones from Mrs. Jones Stitches and welcome back to FlossTube number 11. Um, I'm really excited about this video today. Um, <clears throat> I have been hard at work getting my house decorated for Christmas. Um, I started last week and I still have a couple extra rooms to do. Um, I need to do um, our family room still and our master bedroom and then I'll be done. Um, actually just before filming I had a bunch of um, cross stitch pieces up here but I took them down so I could do a um, previous finishes parade to show you today. So once those are done they'll all be back up here and then hopefully in the next week or two um, I'll do a tour of um, just some kind of rooms in my house. Um, my kitchen's done up real cute this year and um, I do have a really um, fun, special thing that I've been working on this year. And I've never done anything like it before, but it's not quite done. So I'll hold off on that until it is all done. But I'm so excited to share it with you. Um, I actually had been talking about this for um, a couple months with um, Heather um, from White House Stitchery. And she has been uh, kind of my sounding board whenever I come to her with an idea or a project about like, what do you think about this? Do you think this would work? And um, I'm really excited to show it to you. So um, to begin with, we'll go ahead and do um, the giveaway winner from last week. Um, last week, or I say last week, I guess it was two weeks ago. Um, I am giving away this Christmas countdown cross stitch book. And um, basically it's like an advent and you can see, um, right here they kind of did stockings and on the cuff of each stocking it is a day so you can do a countdown to Christmas. So you can put you know little treats or goodies in here. Um, I also think it'd be really cute to do just like a daily advent or you could turn these into ornaments um, for your tree which would be really cute too or um, do something for your for your kids or grandkids. Um, you know each day they get to turn one over or you know get a little peppermint or a candy cane or something so anyway um, and uh, I'm gonna stitch this probably next year I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two a month and then that way by um, December next year I will have all 24 done and it does come with the um, the template to make the stocking if you want to do it like that um, and one cool thing is I'll show you real quick the, um, the patterns are all in color so I love that because I can um, watch TV whenever I stitch and I don't have to pay quite as attention or quite as much attention to the little symbols and stuff so um, we'll go ahead and do this um, I have the YouTube uh, comment picker going and let's Set our parameters here and we'll start so Brandy Stoker congratulations Brandy um, Brandy Stoker I don't know if it's gonna show it or not anyway Brandy um, if you're watching this video um, in the comments I have my email address shoot me an email um, let me know that you won and um, I'll get your address and then I will get this in the mail for you so you can start your Christmas stitching. Um, you have a week from today, Brandy, to message me and if I don't hear from you, then I will draw someone else, okay? Congratulations. All right, so giveaway winner. We are going to do another giveaway. Um, I'm going to do it at the end of the video. Um, so I'm kind of excited about this and this will be really good for finishing. Um, so I'll hop right into it. Um, I do have some previous finishes and like I said, these are all going to go up here on my hutch. Um, I decided that I think the hutch is going to be, um, stitching themed. So all my stitching is going to go there. So, um, we'll go ahead and get started. Oh, I can't reach this one quite yet. So. Um, this is one I did um, a couple years ago. It's a Lizzie Kate and it says wise men still seek him and I did this just on um, a board that I had gotten from um, the unfinished wood section at Hobby Lobby. It was already painted this color so I really didn't have to do much. Um, I need to trim this little this little burlap spraying but um, we did a burlap background here. My mom is a very talented quilter so she took my stitching and um, you know did it with some 
uh, ombre uh, polka dots and um, kind of made it into like a little mat for me. And then we did a really pretty gold glitter snowflake that I got at probably Hobby Lobby or um, at home. And um, so here's this finish. Okay. My next one. Um, this is Mr. Marshmallow from Brenda Gervais and I stitched this last year during the summer I think I remember us being on vacation because I remember taking it in the car through I think Colorado so um, this is a mystery dyed linen that I got um, from Color and Cotton um, I got in just one of their um, linen grab bags this is stitched with all color and cotton floss if you scroll back through my um, Instagram, um, probably to about last summer, summer of 2021, um, I have details on the specific colors I used. Um, this backer is from the Unfinished Wood section at Hobby Lobby, and this um, fabric here is also from Hobby Lobby, and so is the pom-poms. And I just love this one. I, like I said, I did my own colors, um, and I kind of just did a really berry, berry-centric um, you know, color palette. Okay. This was my first pattern I've ever done from Tra La La. And I'll be honest, I cannot remember the name of the pattern, but I bought it on one, two, three stitch. So I know it is still available. I stitched this, um, last summer as well. And it was such a fun stitch, really easy one to do. This is a pearl gray, um, linen. Uh, 32 count the frame is from Hobby Lobby and I want to say this is probably an Easter frame I think and I just um you know backed it with some fabric and mounted it with some batting and then got this from you know the holiday pick section one of my favorites um, so I just mentioned Heather from White House Stitchery she designed this last year and it's called So Mary, S-E-W, So Mary. And this was one of my most favorite pieces um, I've done recently. It's all sewing themed. So you've got the little Christmas tree on the spools, um, a cute little Christmas tree, quilt block star, um, a hot cocoa with um, stitching pins, and some quilt blocks here, the button garland, oh my gosh, the cute scissors, and more quilt blocks down here. Um, I found this ribbon at Hobby Lobby, which I love because if you can see, the words are, I mean, it's screen printed on there, but it looks like cross stitch. Um, I actually entered this in the state fair in September and it got first place. So, um, and this pattern is available on her Etsy shop. It's White House Stitchery and you too can stitch this. And she actually has um, a couple different charts that are kind of cross stitch themed like this that are holidays. Um, there's a Valentine one called Sew in Love, and there's a fall one or Halloween one called So Spooky, I believe, and they're both super, super cute. Okay. Um, this one is one of my favorites. I did this last year. This is the ABCs of Christmas from Lizzie Kate, and I stitched this on a really soft mint um, that I had dyed myself. Um, it's kind of like a minty aqua. I think in this video it's looking a little bit more green than it is, but it's a little bit more blue, um, actually. And these are stitched with color and cotton floss. I did my own color conversion, but I did try to stick similar to what was called for, um, but I just love color and cotton. So I, um, I stitched this and entered it in the fair last year in the sampler category, and I think it got fourth place. So I was really pleased with that. And then um, I just attached a cute little Christmas ornament. This came from a Christmas store that I went to in Texas, and I cannot remember the name of it. But, um, you know, I feel like this kind of type of ornament is really popular every year with people who do like the, the baking themed trees. I've seen some really cute kind of cookie looking um, ornaments at Hobby Lobby this year and Walmart too. So I was really impressed. Um, I feel like Walmart has really stepped up their Christmas game this year. 
and I've gotten a lot of um, ribbon and some finishing pieces and even some ornaments there this year. So if you have not checked out Walmart, do not write them off because they have some really good stuff this year. Um, this was one of my state fair entries this year. This is Burr, It's Cold Outside by Brenda Gervais. And what I did, um, this shadow box came from Hobby Lobby and it already had the um, artificial snow and the bottle brush trees. So all I did was I took a piece of um, like chipboard and I covered it with this sweet little red and white gingham, which I loved because it matched her apron. And then I um, covered the stitched piece with some cotton batting and um, secured it and stuck it in there. And I thought this was so stinking cute because it's got the snow on the ground here and the stitched piece with the snow down here and same with the trees. And um, this might be one of my, my most favorite finishes. This was stitched on 28 count vintage country mocha, I believe. Um, again, using color and cotton colors. And I actually stitched this probably in the spring last year. So um, any, any specific floss colors can be found on my Instagram. It is at Mrs. Jones Stitches. Um, so if you're looking for a specific color, like what blue I used or the green or anything like that, um, those details are right there. This I did last year. This is Mary Chockful by Hands On Design. And this piece I picked up at Basket Market, which I've talked about Basket Market before. It's the um, clearance center warehouse for Hobby Lobby headquarters, um, which is actually like three miles from my house there in Oklahoma City. Um, so I got this little pedestal there. Um, I paid $6 for it and I covered it with some um, ticking stripes, some red and cream ticking stripes. I stitched this on a chalkboard um, linen, um, one over one and um, finished it with just some greenery and some berries. And uh, this is one of my favorite ones. I think it's one of my favorites just because it's, um, it's just a different finish that sits up a little taller so I can kind of layer my, um, my holiday displays a little different. Um, but that was a super fun stitch. This is from this year. I entered it in um, the fair also. It did get first place. Um, this is Sip of the Seasons uh, Santa by uh, Priscilla and Chelsea from Stitching with the Housewives. And I stitched this on the same linen that I stitched the um, ABCs of Christmas on. This is just a really soft um, hand dyed linen. Um, it's kind of a minty, minty aqua color. Um, I did use coloring cotton floss again. I left off, I want to say the, the cup said cheer or jolly or something like that. Um, I did leave that off because I really didn't feel like it needed it and I hate backstitching. So um, I did some more um, ticking stripes here along with the same uh, red and white gingham that I used in Burrett's Cold Outside, which I really thought complemented the um, gingham and buffalo plaid in Santa's um, jammies, really cute. Um, I just did a really um, kind of scrappy, messy bow on top but I did try to echo the same color. So we've got black and white, red gingham. Um, this is kind of like a, uh, I don't know, a, a kind of farmhousey looking creamy linen. Um, and this is actually on an easel that I picked up at a garage sale for like a dollar or two. Okay, just a couple more. This is winter salt boxes from Plum Street Samplers. And I stitched this, I wanna say I finished this on Christmas or Christmas Eve last year. Um, I used color and cotton flosses. I did not stitch like the Polaroid border, border around it. I didn't really feel like it needed it and I knew I wanted to kind of make it into a wall hanging type finish. Um, this little um, charm came from the little miniature ornament section at Walmart last year and it kind of, echoes the same houses down here so there's that one and this is peppermint pals from brenda gervais and i stitched this i don't know if you can tell real well you kind of can like this this is a really um minty aqua and it's got the splatter um the white splatter dots on it which i love because i feel like it look, makes it look like snow there's a better angle 
Um, it looks like big chunky snowflakes. So I love this. Um, stitched with color and cotton. This piece was um, found at Basket Market. It's just a really cute Christmas tag. I want to say it says like the most wonderful time of the year or something on it. Um, it hangs like this and it's just finished with some little greenery up here and two little tiny pine cones. There we go. All right. So I have those for my previous finishes. And one thing that I'm going to do quite a bit more of that I really enjoyed um, is these little, I showed this in my last video, these little um, pillow finishes. Um, I have a mine filled with just walnut shells, crushed walnut shells. Um, you can get it at PetSmart. Um, it's called Lizard Litter, um, which is kind of a coarser um, grain to it. I like the Bird Litter because it's um, kind of a more of a sand consistency. Um, so I have this cute little basket right here, which all my little pillows are kind of thrown in here right now. Um, but this is Winter Wonderland, and this is from The Snowball by Brenda Gervais from With Thy Needle and Thread. Um, I stitched this last year and I finished it with just some really cute coordinating um, fabric. Um, the companion to the winter salt boxes, this is the other piece. And I turned this one into a pillow and it's just backed with a really pretty um, coordinating kind of sage green. And this is the bottle and brush tree farm from Hands On Design. And I used the same backing fabric as I did on Winter Wonderland. So these will just kind of sit in the dough bowl together. Um, just a couple more. This is Farmhouse Christmas from Pineberry Lane. This stitches up super quick. This could easily be done in an evening watching TV. And I did a gray um, sparkle on the back for this one. And if you participated in the cookie exchange last year from Hands On Design, I stitched this um, in the same pillow finish. Oop, there we go. And I did a really pretty green back, which I loved because it matched the legs of the table. So those are my little winter um, Christmas little pillow finishes. And I was really blown away last week with how many people um, loved and commented on the um, Plum Street samplers that I have stitched. Um, if you did not watch my last video, I did the Plum Street samplers um, on Paulette's blog has a 12 days of Christmas um, piece. And it's totally free. You can stitch them individually or you can stitch them um, as one big piece. And I want to say in the whole piece, there's only like three colors. There's a red, a green, I think a black, and maybe a gold. So um, it's a really simple piece. You can make it as elaborate or as simple as you want. And it, it's so versatile because, like I said, you can do it as one piece or um, smaller pieces. So I printed that pattern out a long time ago. I've sat on it for a couple years now. And this year I had a great idea that I was going to stitch them using my Lori Holt B Basics or a floss. So here is my first day and the coordinating fabric on the back is Lori Holt's Cozy Christmas. So we have the first day right here and then we have the second day, which I did a lot of pinks and reds for the second day because Turtle doves symbolize love and so do, um, so do pink and red. So I did a lot of pink and reds. And then I went to the third day with the French hens and I did um, a bright yellow, a darker yellow and an orange. And this is my favorite motif, this really pretty little Christmas tree with all these fun colored ornaments. And I'm having some light issues today, my goodness. I'll have to adjust that here in just a second. And then I skipped the fourth day because when I was looking at all of the, um, each chart for the 12 days, this one was jumping out at me. It's my favorite. It is the fifth day. 
and I just really wanted to do these multicolored trees. So I'm gonna have to adjust my light here. Um, so I stitched the multicolored trees. Um, and one thing I did on each one of these two is they all have a crown on them. And so I have been consistently stitching the crown, kind of the darker gold color in the B Basics um, box. So consistently on each one, the crown is there and it is, um, it's gold. And there's that one. So I use Cozy Christmas line. So there's another one. This is the second day with the pink and red little reindeer. The third day, or I'm sorry, yeah, the third day has these um, pink snowmen. And the fifth day has the yellow snowmen. So um, I have eight more days to go. I have started stitching on day number four right now, um, just so we can continue to go in chronological order. Um, but that's where I'm, that's where I'm at right now. Um, I'm hoping to have all of them done by December 1st. We'll see if that happens. <laughs> um, cause I have a lot of things that I want to stitch this year. So, um, so that's kind of where I'm at right now with my previous finishes. And once I get them all done and they're in their final resting place, my cute little dough bowl, um, it'll probably be in the same room, my dining room, um, on the table. Okay, um, I had a couple of finishes this week. Oops, let me put this against here. This is Stitch Some Happy by Hands On Design, and this pattern was released this fall, and I changed the colors. Um, I was still really into using the um, B Basics Lori Holt Aura Floss. So I just continued the color palette and I'm really happy with my color choices. It's just bright and fun and cheerful and I know that it can go in my craft room anytime. Um, it's not really stitched seasonally, although I did think about doing them seasonally, um, you know, doing a lot of blues for the winter and maybe um, some pastels for the spring. I think it'd be really cute. Um, with uh, red, white, red, white, and blues for um, the fall, I'm sorry, <laughs> for the summer. And then uh, some oranges and golds would be really pretty in the fall. Um, so this piece would be really neat to do um, seasonally. That way you could still keep it in the same spot, but change it out with your um, changing home decor palette. Um, and I also think it would be really cute to um, find another five letter, five letter word, stitch some, you know, cheer, stitch some, um, well, cheers a lot I got right now. <laughs> so, um, but if you have another five loader word, you can easily just chart a whole new word down here too. So, um, that would be really fun. Um, if you're going to do like a stitch along or like an ornament exchange, um, my last name is Jones. So, you know, you could kind of, you know, you could do stitch and then you could do like Mrs. Jones or you know Smith or whatever you want to do but um, it is really versatile so you could change the word if you wanted to and my other finish this week is Santa's tree farm it's the roundabout from Priscilla and Chelsea and I do need to do um, I'm out of the color that I like to use for um, my flesh kind of skin color so I need to go in and stitch um, a couple of, I think it's three stitches of, I think she calls for perfect pie crust, but I like a really, um, there's a DMC color that I really like. So I need to go in and um, stitch those three stitches and then it'll be totally done. I did um, completely change this pattern actually, the colors. Um, the trees are all um, a dark green and a light green. And I went with um, a soft aqua and a darker aqua. I did a light pink and a darker pink. Um, this one over here is a bright blue and a darker blue. Um, I changed my truck to a blue truck with um, an aqua and pink Christmas tree. Then I did my words, um, pink and aqua, Santa's tree farm. And then I did leave the holly down here um, red and green like it should be. 
Also, instead of stitching the snowflakes, I added um, a few really cool vintage buttons that I had picked up at an estate sale, and I'll talk more about those here. My mom and I love going to estate sales, and we had gone to one um, not very far away, I don't know, maybe a couple weeks ago, and we hit the mother load on vintage buttons. So I have, I think five jars like this. And this is just a spaghetti sauce jar that the lady had had them in. And this is probably the smallest jar. I have two huge pickle jars that are just chock full of these cool old buttons. So what I did was instead of stitching the snowflakes um, for this, I um, just attached some of the vintage buttons. And I'll probably just finish this um, just like this. So I was really excited about this one and how stinking cute it was. And Heather had actually mentioned um, doing buttons instead of the snowflakes. And I was really worried that since I was stitching on white that the snowflakes wouldn't show up real well. So she said, well, what about doing some vintage buttons? And I was like, why did I not think of that? So um, thank you, Heather. That was a really great idea. Um, okay. We'll do some haul now. Um, I don't know if you have checked your email. Fat Quarter Shop is running a Black Friday sale and they have a lot of really good stuff um, for stitchers. Um, probably about an hour ago I went on. They have um, all heart and hand cross stitch patterns for 30% off. So I bought a whole bunch of heart and hand patterns which I haven't really stitched a whole lot of heart and hand. I did the Doodles Halloween and then I bought um, a couple of the Wee Santas to stitch. Um, so I have those in my possession now, but um, they were so cute. So I went on and bought quite a few more heart and hand patterns. Um, so hopefully I can get some of those stitched either this year or for next year. And one thing that I have found that, I have a three-year-old. If you are new to my channel, I have a three-year-old little boy. Right now he's all about Christmas. He is so pumped. We went and saw Santa last week and he got his picture taken and the last two years um, he was pretty terrified of Santa. You know we talked him up real you know thoroughly and Santa's our friend and you know you're gonna sit on his lap and tell him what you want and he was all about it and then when it was showtime and we're fixing to walk in like complete meltdown. <laughs> so um so I was kind of nervous to see what he was going to do this year, if he was going to really embrace Santa or if we were going to, you know, have a repeat of 2021 and 2020. Um, and he blew me out of the water. He did so good. He walked right up and um, he was about five feet away and Santa, you know, called his name. And so he went up there and he was about five feet away and he yells, Santa, I want a backhoe. Um, he's really into tractors and fire trucks and construction equipment right now. So, um, anyway, he sat on the couch by Santa and talked fire trucks with Santa and it was great. He smiled for the pictures. It was perfection. So I was super proud of him, but he is all about Christmas stuff right now. So if you have little ones or know anybody who has little ones, Hobby Lobby has all their like Christmas crafts. Um, for like 60% off. So these are just some of the things I've bought. These are just foam and um, you can dress Santa up. So Santa comes like this in his undies and it has all the pieces on the back and they all have like little foam sticker. So you peel off the adhesive part and then you can stick the shirt on Santa or stick his you know shoes on or something. So we did these last week. These are just two little reindeer and um, he looked at the pictures and put on the, you know, the sweater and the scarf and the mittens and glasses and stuff. And, um, and he's all about these. So, and after, um, after the discounts applied, these end up being like a dollar, dollar 20 each. And it's easily a, excuse me, a good like 30 to 45 minute craft to keep them occupied um, while you wrap presents or while you do something else. So um, I stocked up on these fun little kits. So there's these sweet little reindeer. Of course, there's Santa's. Um, these are really cute polar friends. 
and these um, have a penguin, a reindeer, and a little polar bear. And um, you know, they, they come naked and there's all the little pieces to dress them up. Um, and it's, it's great. Um, I got this felt Christmas tree and all these little felt pieces are already punched so you don't have to cut them out or anything. Um, and then they can decorate their own little tree. And then I got these, I think I might keep these. These are just um, wooden round ornaments. And I think these would be super cute for finishing. So it'd be really great for finishing the roundabouts or stitch some happy. I bet they'd fit on something like this. Or, you know, you can give your kids some paint or some crayons or markers and let them go to town and make some Christmas ornaments. I got these. These are just kind of like ornament blanks. They're chalkboard ornaments, so you could write on them if you wanted to. Um, I thought they'd be cute for finishing if you, you know, spray painted them a different color or if you're into, you know, if you're into them with the black, that's fine too. I know a lot of people like the buffalo plaid stuff, so um, I just thought it'd be cute for finishing. And speaking of finishing, um, all the fall stuff at my Hobby Lobby was 75% off. So I found these. These are round mini charcuterie boards and they were $3.99. But if you painted it, you could do your stitch some happy or your roundabout on it and you could maybe string some um, baker's twine or something like that and you could hang it on a tree like this or you know you could put some cheese and crackers and use it as a charcuterie but um, with these being 75% off, I paid a dollar. So I bought like 10 of these, um, because I actually really love the roundabout series that Priscilla and Chelsea are doing. And, um, that way I'm able to finish everything consistently. So I really like this. And then, um, if you also are into kids crafts, I made this a couple years ago. Um, I guess, yeah, two years ago, it's 2020. Um, I, you can go to Hobby Lobby, I'm not Hobby Lobby, I'm sorry, Mardell, or um, a lot of schools and churches have laminating machines, like the really big, like industrial laminating machines. And so what I did was I took pictures of my son and I put them through the laminating machine. And then I just got like a white paint pen and a hole punch. So I punched the hole up here, um, did some baker's twine, and then I did a white paint pen and just kind of drew the snow and snowflakes and wrote, wrote his name in the year and these um, hang on our Christmas tree. And I did, I made a lot of these and I gave them to the grandparents and um, his godparents and things like that. And I did keep some too. So we have this one here and this is maybe a six inch circle. This one's a little bit smaller. And this one is maybe a three, three inch circle. But, um. But you can do this with kids or a family picture or, you know, dogs or whatever, whatever you want to put into a snow globe. Um, I tried doing like a really cute like snow globe base and mine never looked even. So I just kind of did it like this, but um, it's super cute, really cheap to do and um, it doesn't take that much time. So, okay, what else do I have? Um... I need to go get my color and cotton flosses from November, so hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, so I placed a really large color and cotton order um, last month. Um, I would gotten my November, I'm sorry, my October floss of the month. I'm part of the All Colors um, Special Edition Club, and I get 10 skeins. So one thing that... Um, Angela does every month is if she has any leftovers she'll post on her color and cotton website um, she'll reveal all the kits or all the you know clubs I'm sorry and um, there's a bright colored club and there's a primitive like neutral colored club or there's all colors so I thought that all colors meant that you got both the primitive and the brights so you got all the colors it's not um, all colors is its own club so after I saw the brights and the primitives, I was like, man, I need to have those. So I went ahead and ordered them. And this was the brights. 
This is a really pretty uh, bright green called Holiday Cheer. A variegated green and white called Elf on the Shelf. This red poinsettia. Uh, this is kind of a goldish with maybe just a tiny tint of green um, called Grinch. And my favorite, the one that made me buy the whole set, was this one called Candy Cane Confetti. And it is red and green and white. And it's so pretty. So I had to get that one. Let me see if I can adjust this real quick. Okay. Let's see if that works a little better. Okay. So then I had to get the primitive ones. This is crumb cake. Oh yeah, this lights a lot better. Crumb cake. Winter berry. Super pretty. I need to order more of that. Um, Snickerdoodle is a really pretty cream. Yuletide. And Peace on Earth, which is super pretty. This is like an aqua neat sage. Really subtle, but really, really pretty. Okay. I did do a reorder from two that were in my um, October all colors because I really liked them. This is Sleigh Ride. And I feel like this color would be really, it's a really pretty, um, like milk chocolatey brown. And I think this would be super cute for stitching hot chocolate. And this one is called Laurel Wreath. And it's a really pretty olive, like a dark olive green. It almost reminds me of like hazel too. Okay. And one thing that Angela offers that I really enjoy um, are thread mist dyes. So, you know, if a color doesn't turn out exactly the way she wants it, she offers them up as thread mist dyes, which I'm fine with a thread mist dye. Um, these are 20 yards and they're $4.99. So it's a really great deal. Um, her regular skeins are eight yards and they are $2.90. So, you know, you get a ton of floss here. Um, so I picked this really pretty kind of um, aqua, aqua green. And then I did um, a brown. And this is kind of like a blue gray. And a really pretty kind of fuchsia berry color. And I have this. And this one I had for a while. I just don't think I've ever showed it. It's kind of a dark, a dark red. So I got those. And then I got the, um, a gradient set. And this is the seafoam gradient set. So there's soft, medium, and dark. And then we'll go to the November Thread Club. So um, we're still kind of doing some Christmas colors. This is a really pretty green called Good Cheer. That's pretty accurate right there. I'm a sucker. I was saying in one of my videos, um, I love coloring cotton. It's my favorite floss to stitch with. Um, and I, when I was organizing my floss um, last time, I was kind of looking at it. I was like, man, I've got a lot of, I feel like I have a lot of certain colors and I have a ton of greens. I didn't realize that I had so many greens, but greens greens and reds and blues are the ones that I have the most of um, this really pretty white called snowflake this is um, a variegated red called jolly suit another really pretty brown called fruitcake I think this would be really good for stitching um, gingerbread men it's just a really pretty kind of golden brassy brown this is an orangey called um, Open Fire. Whoop. Open Fire. Um, another one, 
why it's called gingerbread. These are really similar. Let's hold these up together. You can see the gingerbread one here on top is just slightly darker. A really pretty gold called Jingle Bell. Another gold called Chestnuts Roasting. And we can hold these up together too. Chestnuts Roasting is just slightly, slightly more brassy it looks like. And this really pretty green called Evergreen. And we can hold this up with Good Cheer too. Good Cheer is just a little bit darker. These would be really good for the roundabout. Um, if you stuck with the call for colors and did the two greens, I feel like the top one, evergreen, is a really good contrast with the good cheer. That'd be a good idea. Um, okay, and then, oh, there's one more. Um, this is called Up on the Rooftop, and it's a really dark blackish brown. And then, I don't know if everybody got these or if I just got them because I spend a ton of money at Color and Cotton. Um, these little ones just say, it just says a gift for you. And it's a brown and an aqua. And then um, kind of two pinks. But thank you, Angela. So there are all my Color and Cotton. So let's do, um, let's do a quick little giveaway here. And then we will wrap this show up. Um, so I mentioned that I had a ton of these cool vintage buttons. Um, these ones here are um, aqua and there's some pink in here, um, some cream and some white. And so I am going to give um, away a bag full of vintage buttons. And the bags are usually, I don't know, it's like a jewelry bag pouch, but I'm going to cram that sucker full. So if you would like to win um, a little bag of vintage buttons and I'll throw in some just kind of vintage trims and laces and um, and maybe some stuff that's not vintage but um, some ribbons and some pom-poms and some vintage trims and stuff. So if you'd like to win that um, use the word we won't complicate it just use the word button button in your comment and um and we'll go from there so um thank you for watching uh, if you don't follow my uh instagram it's at mrs jones stitches and i'll put it below in the comments um or in the description for the video thank you for watching i'll be back hopefully in two weeks with some more to show you and um, I hope you have a good time decorating your house. If you have not decorated for Christmas yet, um, if you are decorating, um, good luck. I hope all your strands light up and I hope all your ornaments are intact and nothing broke. And um, we'll talk to you next time. Thanks, bye.